Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash Entitled Parents. In today's episode, my dog sent Entitled Parent and her kid to jail. Dropping the hammer on my father today. Karen let her kid run out in front of our car. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. My dog sent entitled parent and her kid to jail. Sit back and enjoy. This is long because I apparently can't do short. Many years ago, I was living in a beautiful sunny southern state. I had a cute little house that was completely fenced in, 5 foot fence in front, 8 fence on the sides and a 10 chain link fence in the back. I'm fortunate enough to work from home. My office was my patio unless it was raining. My dog, Sari, German Shepherd slash Rottweiler mix, kept me company. At a year old, she was a big girl at 120 pounds. She was generally very sweet and kind but protective. She was well trained but also had a knack for disappearing to play with her animal friends, so I kept her on a chain too if we were outside. High school kids in the area had the tendency to use the alleyway behind my house to get to and from school. Most would stop and say hi to Sari and give her attention. She loved it. I honestly didn't mind. One day, I noticed that any time Sari was alone outside, some kids would rattle the back fence, throw things at it, then scream and yell at Sari. The kids would run off before I could see who they were. In case things got worse, I bought some security cameras and brought Sari with me anytime I went inside when the kids would be around. One day, I had to grab some work in the house and left Sari outside. Just for a moment. From inside, I heard the fence rattle and then Sari yelp in pain. I rushed outside just in time to see a kid try to throw a rock at Sari, along with some other kids. I was pissed. As I rushed over to Sari, I calmly asked them, did it ever occur to you to wonder why I keep my dog chained in fenced yard? Then I unhooked her. Sari ran at my back fence and climbed over it. The kids started running down the alley with Sari right behind them, barking away. I let her go about one half block, then whistled for her. She came trotting back all happy as can be. I checked her over and gave her a treat. She was fine. A couple of hours later, one of the kids came back with his mother, E.P. E.P., screaming you stupid. You had your dog attack my son. He was only having a fun time. He's just a boy. Kid was at least 16 years old. You scared him. It was just a joke. You had no right to do that. I'm calling the police and having that dog shot. Blah, blah, blah. I literally couldn't get a word in. Then she starts threatening me. So I called the police. The operator could hear her plain as day even though EP was at least 40 feet from me. The police showed up in about 5 minutes. Two cars. I guess they were in the area. Four officers. All very nice guys. Two officers come talk to me, the other two talk to EP and her son. EP never stopped screaming and cussing. I explained what happened and showed the video to the officers. Show all of Sari's vet and training paperwork. I filed a report. Asked to press charges. The officers are petting Sari all the while because she's demanding attention from her new friends. She has her happy face on. Yes, Sari actually smiles. The three of us and Sari, on a leash, go outside towards the other group. We're about 10 feet from them when Sari suddenly cuts in front of me to stop me and starts growling. The skin around her face went tight, making it look like a hair-covered skull. The hair on her on her back raises up. Sari is very scary when she's like that. EP, screaming C. She raised that dog to attack black people. Racist. That dog needs to be put down. The two officers that were with me were African-American. So. No. 
That part always annoys me, so I included it. I called back one of the officers that I had been talking to. He didn't want to come too close as Sari is showing large teeth. So I moved back towards my house. As quietly as I could, I told the officer that either E.P. or Kid were carrying a gun. That's why Sari started getting protective. It had happened several times before. I guess to error on the side of caution, or to shut me up, he decided to search E.P. and Kid. E.P. had an unregistered gun. Kid had a 6-inch switchblade, not legal in that state. So, in addition to a charge of animal cruelty, they got nailed for carrying a concealed weapon, being in possession of a firearm while on probation, resisting arrest and a couple of other charges. E.P. never stopped screaming the entire time this happened and while being driven away. I don't think that's how E.P. or Kid expected to end the day. But I enjoyed it. Even better, I never saw her or her kid again and the kids stopped harassing Sari. Wow, this could have turned out very differently, I think such a person would actually try to shoot your dog. Luckily the police arrived on time and everything turned out okay. Can you please show me a picture of your dog, if it won't work? NP, but I'm just interested. I put Sari inside when they came so her getting hurt wasn't a concern. I'll have to look for one. Sari went over the rainbow bridge five years ago. The fact she threw race in, just wow. Anything to get the dog put down because her kids were being monster pricks. Glad she's gone. Dropping the hammer on my father today. Today, I told my father that I had reached my limit and to not call me anymore after being treated as his therapist slash wife slash sounding board for years. He raised me as a single parent while my mom drank and got high on oxy. My childhood was full of neglect and fear from his constant angry outbursts throughout the week, and on the weekends, he would drive me to my extremely abusive mom's house. She would normally be drunk by the time he dropped me off at 10 a.m. I worked my ass off all through grade school and high school, knowing that my education was the only path out of the neglect and poverty my parents forced me to live in because of their choices. I ended up skipping a grade and got accepted into college when I was 16. Now that I'm an adult, my dad uses me as his stand-in emotional support, constantly complaining about the lifestyle he has chosen for himself for years. Our phone calls normally consist of him ranting at me loudly about the trailer park he lives in and the severe alcoholics and drug addicts he surrounds himself with. I can put the phone down, do a task for several minutes, and when I come back, he is normally still complaining at himself. I'm currently working full-time as a massage therapist and taking 12 credits for nursing school. I'm a first-generation college student. All I've wanted is a parent who is sincerely proud of me and provides some sort of support. That will never happen, so today I told him how I really feel. Even though tomorrow is my birthday, I asked him not to visit and to stop calling me. I feel sad but also a sense of deep relief. I don't feel responsibility for his choices anymore. Amen you are free. I'm proud of you. That's so hard to carve put a better life for yourself, and you've done it from a child. This internet auntie is proud of you for forging your destiny. Karen let her kid run out in front of our car. My mom and I went to pick up my dad from work this evening and on the way home, a mother and her children, all dressed in black coats, it was very dark, being winter in the UK, were standing by the road, not at a crossing, just by the road. It was my mom's right of way, so she kept driving, not expecting the Karen to step out in front of our car and then gesture for her kids to run across behind her. My mom had to slam on the brakes to avoid hitting them. My mom rolled down the window and politely but firmly said that they should be wearing brighter clothing if they were going to cross like that, because she couldn't see them. The lady snapped, oh, shut up. My mom yelled that she should be more careful and drove away. The audacity of some people. Your mother stepped on the wrong pedal. That's what I was going to say. 
Maybe the EM wants to get rid of her kids. I recognize that it's an insurance scam that Karen had planned. Some people are incredibly stupid and arrogant. I once watched a woman and her son stroll down the road on the road. There was a pavement literally three steps to their left, but they walked on the road and I had to wonder, did they want to get hit by a car? The kid was only about six so probably didn't know any better, but the mother sure as hell should have. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.